Hello YouTube, Mutual Overkill here once again, giving you a product opening this time. Yeah, I know I haven't done one of those in a while, but what I've got here for you today is I'm going to be cracking open three um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Mystery Power Boxes that I got from my local Meyer. Um, these just look like, oh, um, these just look like something fun to show on the channel just because I know a lot of people are doing these right now. Um, so one thing I do want to get out of the way right now is that, um, don't buy this if you're looking for value. Um, uh, if you're looking to make your money back, you're not going to get it here. Because what this is, is these are surplus structure decks, surplus packs, and other items that, um, that stores were unable to sell. So they put them all in uh, this to try and make some extra money off them. So... You might get packs that are like already been picked over and scaled while they were still popular, while they were still a thing, and well in the stores. Um. So and it also it it makes the um the outlandish um I want to say the outlandish blurb that you could possibly get a SJC Cyberstein um uh, PSA graded ten now. Some, now, some of these boxes do have PSA graded cards. I opened one a little while back. Um, I did make a video of it, but I'm not going to upload it just because it was the video was so sloppy, so, sloppily done. Um, but yeah, the, out, the outlandish, just the outrageous possibility. I, I think it's an impossibility. I don't, out of all of these boxes and out of all the stores in the country that have these boxes, that there could be a, uh, a SJC Cyberstein uh, in one of them. I don't even think there is an SJC Cyberstein in any of them. And they just put that on there to try and sell more boxes. But nevertheless, um, don't buy this for value. Buy it for, um, if you just want something fun to crack open. So what these have in them, it says right here, um, it has three booster packs. These will be booster packs of any set. Um, that they that they just had sitting around. Um, it also has a, a structure, five bonus packs, which are I think they're always going to be, um, what is it? They're always going to be the Battle Pack Monster League, which was like the worst set ever made. Except there actually is stuff I'm looking for in Monster League, which is pretty interesting. Um, one structure deck, which can also be a starter deck. Um, they don't tell you that, because I got a, um, a Xyz Symphony starter deck out of one of these before. Uh, one mystery item and one bonus item. Now the mystery item can be a playmat. It can be a duelist league pin. It could even be a P uh, or the bonus item could even be a PSA graded uh, card. Either of these are interchangeable. Uh, but let's open the first one and see what's up. I already took the shrink wrap off. This is live opening. Um, I haven't looked into any of these yet. I only took the shrink wrap off just to save time. So let's see what we get. We have. Judgment of the Light Booster Pack. Judgment of the Light Booster Pack. And our last major booster pack is... Ooh, Primal Origin. Okay. So we'll start with uh, the three main booster packs that you get out of the... Uh, out of each mystery box. So let's see what we get. So we'll start with the, uh, the Primal Origin. So we have... Artifact... And the band played on. Galactic Charity. ZW Slipe Near Mail. What is that? Is that number C43? Galaxy Mirror Sage. Hazy Flame Hydra. Scrap Factory. Number 48 Shadow Lich. Now these packs, like these are Zexal era packs, like before um there were guaranteed foils in every pack, yeah, at least a super rare. So that's why there was no foil in that one. So let's see what we got. Also, I apologize for the lighting. This is really the only good place in the house I can do uh, videos right now because we got company upstairs. So let's open up the first, uh, what is this? Judgment of the Light. Pujin Fidel. Mecha Phantom Beast. Coltwing. Flying Sea. Vain Betrayer, Tor, is that Torbus from Forbidden Realms? Yep. Oh, we actually got a foil. We got uh, Bujin Bujingi Quillen. 
So I'll put the I'll set the foils aside. The actual good fo the actual foils, not the rares. Exceeds reversal. There's an Umbral Horror, Will of the Wisps, and the Calibrator. Yep, the Calibrator. Now for our last Judgment of the Light out of this mystery box. And this one's giving me a hard time. There we go. Okay, so this one contains Verse Glasses, Bujinki Turtle, Shark Caesar, Cheap Cheap Cheap, love the name, uh, Confronting the Sea, uh, sorry about the cutoff, I just got interrupted by a family, um, Junk Blader, Caesar Versal, The Atmosphere, Traptrix Nephthanus, okay, now let's see what else we got out of here. Looks like we got a. Here's our starter slash structure deck. It is an Xyz, uh Symphony starter deck. So we'll open this up and see what's in it. Comes with the powerful Utopia. Comes with your standard starter deck fare, your paper mat, your instruction manual. And uh, the important part, the cards themselves. Okay, so what does this come with? If I get repeat starter decks, I'm not going to open each one, so don't worry about it. We got the powerful Utopia. Uh, we got Muzurism, the Stranger Gin. Tem Tempo, the Percussion Gin. I remember when Tem Tempo was really good. Um... What is that? Mellow, Mellow Melody, the Brass Gin, and Maestro and Symphony Gin, which is actually partially misprinted with the foil there, if you can see that. Then we've got our commons, our Alexandrite Dragon, Spirit of the Harp, Frostosaurus, Zubaba Knight, Gambara Knight, Go Go Golem, Go Go Giant, Goblinberg, uh, Feedback Warrior, Shine Knight, Cyber Dragon, Trident Warrior, Chiron the Mage, Marauding Captain, Penguin Soldier, Sangan, uh, Two Giant Rats, Two Shining Angels, Blustering Winds, Ego Boost, Xyz Energy, Star Changer, Swords of Revealing Light, Mystical Space Typhoon, Fissure, Gravity Axe Scrawl for some reason, Rhoda, Burden of the Mighty, which I don't know. I think that was kind of stupid that they put Burden of the Mighty in an Xyz era starter deck, which, um, uh, Burden of the Mighty has no effect on Xyz monsters, which is pretty hilarious. Uh, Heartfelt Appeal, Xyz Effect, Raigeki Break, Trap Hole, Dust Tornado, Magic Cylinder, Draining Shield, Call of the Haunted, Limit Reverse, and Seven Tools of Bandit. Okay, so that's all that. Um, we still have our Monster League and our bonus items to check out, though. Our, our quote unquote bonus packs, but these are all the foils we got so far. Um, so I'll put that aside and let's see what else we got in here. That's nice. Oh, this must be one of our bonus items. This is a uh, this is our bo one of our bonus items is a Portuguese, I think that's Portuguese. Yep, P001 Star Deck Kaiba Blue Eyes White Dragon. That's for also first edition. And it looks to be in pretty good shape, so that's kind of interesting. So we got a blue eyes white dragon, which is pretty nice. That's all ultra star at Kaiba. It's Portuguese, but what are you gonna do? And then we almost always have these in here. These are these are the Monster League packs, and it looks like we also have a playmat in here. Yep, a Monster League. Uh, it is a Monster League playmat. So there's that. I'll set it right here, right for right now. Just put our stuff on top of it. So there's our first play mat, and they're all and they're probably always going to be Monster League play mats, which aren't the most popular, but I like the um the Forbidden Lance one. So here's our Monster League pack, which are all stuck together with this really tough glue. So. 
Let's open the first. Actually, I'm going to cut it off and separate these, and then I'll be right back with the opening of each pack. Okay, so here is our Monster League packs from our first Mystery Power Box. We're going to open up each one. There actually is a card I'm looking for in here um, called Card Advance. Oh, we got Book of Eclipse. That would be nice in my Chaos Max deck, actually. I'm going to set that aside just because it's something I could use. We have Fabled Ashen Veil, Veil, which is a foil, so I guess I'll set it aside. Card Guard, which is okay in the Tune deck, but who plays Tunes? Herald of Orange Light and Reptilian Gorgon. A Book of Eclipse I can actually use in my Chaos Max deck. Uh, Pyramid of Wonders, number 10 Illuminati, hey, number monster, that's kind of, that's all right. Um, Pyramid of Wonders, Wind Up Juggler, Super Rush Rock Lee, and the powerful Jerry Beans Man. We're gonna put Jerry, we're gonna put Jerry Bean right here just because he's, he's the best Yu-Gi-Oh card of all time aside from Larva Moth. Next pack, Psychic Sword, Ragaki Bottle, or just foil, so I guess I'll put it over there. Slate Warrior, Alien Brain, and Victory Viper XX03. Okay, next up, we have Inspiration, Cursed Armaments, Toon Gemini Elf, where you're returning alive and a tackle crusader. Okay, last one and then it's on to the last pack and then it's on to the second mystery box. Miracle Locus. Inspiration. Start uh, shatter foil. Uh, psychic shocker. Breakthrough skill. That's okay card. Uh, if you can't afford solemn strikes and shoot in Joji. All right, so this is everything. That's all right. We got this is everything we got from our uh, our foils. Everything we got from our uh, first mystery power box. So let's go on to the second one. Second one. Contains three booster packs. All right, here's our three booster packs this time. We have Number Hunters, which I don't even think was a, was an actual booster set, which is kind of weird. Um, we have Metal Raiders. This is old school right here, and we have Rise of Destiny. Two older packs, which is what I what, what I like to see. I'm a big fan of the old school Yu-Gi-Oh. So seeing packs like this, um, we're, we're obviously going to save Metal Raiders, the best for last, but let's see what we get out of Number Hunters, which isn't even actu an actual booster set. So once again, they're just jipping me, but at least they're all foils in here, I think. Uh, Kage so Kage, Chakra, Resurrection of, oh, we got Chakra in the, um, the ritual spell for it in the same pack. Cool. Photon Lizard and number 44 Sky Pegasus, the worst Xyz monster ever. Aside from Baby Tear again, I guess. Alright, let's see what's in Rise of Destiny. I forget what's in this set. It looks like the creator was in this set and a lot of other weird cards. This pack's hard to open, too. There we go. Oh, that's cool. We got, uh, I'll put my foils up there. Uh, that's cool. We got Harpy Girl with the uncensored artwork. Back to square one is an okay card. Lighten the load. Harpy Lady 2. Ooh, we got a foil. Big Core. The worst archetype card ever of the, the BES archetype. The worst, like, the worst, ar like, literally the worst archetype ever, but hey, it's a foil. Actually, I'll put all my foils aside from the ones I've already opened. So let's do that. Okay, so Harpy Lady 2, Pitch Black Whirls, The Fruits of Kozaki's Studies, Harpy Lady, oh, so we got Harpy Lady 1 and 2 in the same pack, and Astral Barrier. All right, Metal Raiders. 
Oh, it's actually, uh, I didn't even see that. It's Predores Metallicos. It's a <laughs> foreign uh, Metal Raiders pack. I think it's Portuguese. Nevertheless, I still like my old packs, so let's see what we got. <laughs> yep. Predatores Metallicos. So these are all going to be Portuguese cards, like the Blue Eyes White Dragon we got in the last box. So see, I can't remember what this thing is called in <laughs> English. Oh, we got Occubeam, Castle of Dark Illusions. I think that's Roaring Ocean Snake. Ooh, Magician of Faith. Uh, that's pretty cool. Metal Raiders and Magician of Faith is pretty nice. Um, Maja de Fe. Sword of Deep Seated. Sadly, we didn't get any ultra or super rare cards or secret rares out of our Metal Raiders. Or, I'm sorry, our Predid... What is that? Predadores Metallicos. Um... So we got a Sword of Deep Seated. Actually, I'm going to put the Magician of Faith aside because I like Magician of Faith. It's I'm a big fan of the old Chaos formats from long ago. So our next card is Guilty of the Dark Knight, Electric Lizard, and I think this is Doma the Angel of Silence. So let's see what else we have in this mystery box. We have... What's our starter? Oh, hold on. This one, hold on here. This one's got four packs in it. We got a Tactical Evolution in here as well. Are the Monster League packs still here? Yep, they're Monster League. Okay, so this one came with four booster packs. Unless the Number Hunters was one of the bonus items. It might have been. The Number Hunter pack might have been one of the bonus items. They like to do that. But uh, let's see what's in Tactical Evolutions. Maybe look at that Ghost Rare Rainbow Dragon. Oh, it feels kind of heavy. Okay, Goggle Golem. Cocoon Veil, Chrysalis Pentail, Venom Shot, Aww. Phalanx Pike, Venom Cobra, Flint Missile, Flint, Flint Lock and Flint Missile, and Chrysalis Larvae. Uh, so nothing good out of the Tactical Evolution. Alright, let's see what's our, what's our starter deck. Oh, this time it's an actual structure deck. Hey, it's one of my buddy's favorite structure decks. Um, the Zombie World structure deck with the Red Eye Zombie Dragon. I wonder if I should just... Stop the video right now and send this right to him. I'm sure he'd like it. But nevertheless, we're going to see what's in here. Um, I am going to open it up. This is a Zombie World Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D structure deck. And actually, Zombie World's still not a bad card. The field spell, Zombie World, it's not a bad card. Um, So let's see what we got. You've got your, your combo list, your instruction manual, and your paper mat. And then we have, well, like I said, the most important card. The most important part, the cards themselves. With that red, with that beautiful red eye, mint condition, red eye zombie dragon. Alright. What is this? Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, this is a coupon for Yu-Gi-Oh! Online Dual Evolution. Which I don't even think exists anymore. <laughs> I love this stuff. Okay, so we've got the Red Eye Zombie Dragon. I'm gonna put that with the good cards. I'm gonna level up Mech Goku N, Paladin of Cursed Dragon, Garnia, Patrician of Darkness, Royal Keeper, Pyramid Turtle, two of them, Master Kayanshi, Spirit Reaper, hey, I got a Spirit Reaper for my goat deck, Gisufuma, Ryukoki, Regenerating Mummy, looks like two of those, Deslacuda, Marionette Might, Plague Wolf, Zombie Master. Oh, two Zombie Masters. That's not a bad card either. One Zombie World. I'm going to put that with the good cards. Uh, Spell Shattering Arrow. Cold Wave, which is currently banned, but I like collecting banned cards, so I'll put that with the good cards. Because it is a good card, you just can't use it. Magical Stone Excavation. Card of Safe Return. Again, same story as Cold Wave. Creature Swap. I'll put that with the good cards. Some decks play Creature Swap. Book of Life, Call the Mummy. Hey, Terraforming, that's a good card. Hey, Pot of Avarice, that's a banned card. Shrink, Field Barrier, Soul Taker. I guess that's kind of an okay card in some deck. Some reverse burn decks play it. Ribbon of Rebirth, Card Destruction. Imperial Iron Wall's not bad. Uh, Dust Tornado, Bottomless Trap Hole's nice. 
Two-Ton Mask, Waboku, I'll put Waboku over here, and Magical Arm Shield. So that is the zombie world structure. And there isn't anything else in there? No? Okay. So next in this box, looks like we have our, yeah, it looks like the, um, the Number Hunters pack was one of the bonus items. Because now we're back to, uh, uh, Monster League. So our, um, and we got yet another playmat. Let's see what's in this one. Same one as last time, so I'm not even going to unfurl it. So let's get right on the packs. Again, I'll cut it off, and I'll be right back when I have all these packs separated from the thing. See you okay, in a so bit. we've got our Monster League packs all separated from the second mystery from the second mystery box. So let's open them up. Forbidden Lance, not a bad card, but not a heavily used card right now. Uh, is that Bound Wand, Eye Iron, and Scapegoat? Hey, more goat car control cards and Magical Undertaker. And we have out of this pack. Still looking for two more card advances. Murmurant Forest, Slate Warrior. I forgot I was going to put the shadow shatter foils with the better cards just because they're foil. Um, what is that? Silent Psychic Wizard, Herald of Orange Light, and Tackle Crusader. Okay, next one. Looks like another Inspiration. Burst Breath. Mizuki, that's not a bad card. Hey, it goes with the Zombie World deck. Um, Nordic Relic Waviton, and Stygian Street Patrol is actually not a bad card in some decks, so I'll put that with the better cards. Still looking for those card advances, though. Butterfly Yolk. What is a Yumatosaurus, Card Guard, Damage Gate, and Dweller in the Depths. All right, next up we have Mask of Brutality, Noble Arms, something or other. Sorry, I don't feel like saying Cross Sword Beetle, Mark of the Rose, and Lord Poison. Okay, so that was our second mystery box. Here's all of the foil and or good cards that we got. So... Some really nice stuff out of the uh, zombie world structure. And then we're getting into our packs and our bonus pack that we got. So I'm going to cut it off one more time and we'll get ready, uh, clean things up a little bit, and we will get ready with the third and final mystery box. Okay, I'm all cleaned up from the first two mystery boxes. Got all my good pulls and foils here. But let's see what the third mystery box holds for us. Premium gold. Is that our bonus pack? Tactical evolution. Premium gold again. And number hunters. Huh. So I'm guessing that... This is very strange because we have loose premium golds as our booster packs, as well as our number hunters for a bonus item and a tactical evolution for the main pack. So I was wrong. I guess they can be any sealed pack. I thought they were, the three main packs were supposed to be three, um, three main set booster packs, but I guess they can be any old sealed pack and the bonus item can be anything either. So I guess we'll open up number hunters. This is an all foil pack. Let's see what we get. Battle Cruiser Dianthus, Curry Volt, CXC's Mechquip Jin and General, Overlay Capture, and Photon Alexander Queen. Alright, let's open the gold last. Because I'm actually one of the few people who likes gold. Okay, Tactical Evolution. Let's see if we can get that Ghost Rare Misprint Rainbow Dragon.
And we have Shadow Delver, Chrysalis Peeny, Strike Slash, Goggle Golem, and an Ultra Rare. A uh, Synthonian Emperor Dragon, which was an Ultra Rare, oddly enough. It's it's a Gemini monster, and Geminis aren't that good, but hey, you're an Ultra Rare, you know. Some may want it. Put it with the foils. Uh, Dark Effigy, Hero Counterattack, Venom Snack, and Venom Swamp. Uh, so, let's see. Do I want to do the first premium gold or the second one? I think we'll do the first one first. Because Return of the Bling was the second premium gold set. Oh, looks like we got a Fire Formation Tanky. So we have Fire Formation Tanky. What is that? Junk Puppet. Gimmick Puppets. Yeah, I don't care about Gimmick Puppets. Uh, gimmick Puppet Humpty Dumpty. Jinzo and Trap Stun. Okay, not the best gold pack, but hey, at least we get Tenki and Jinzo. Alright, let's see what our premium gold Return of the Bling, which I believe was the second premium gold set, has to offer. Draco Kaidos Nether Soul Dragon. Uh, is that Ghost Charon the Underworld Boater? Cephalon the Ultimate Time Lord? A Charge of the Light Brigade, and Ring Up Magic, a Numeron Force. I was really hoping for Dark Holes or Regekis out of here, because I know that Regeki came out of Premium Gold 2. So that's all our main packs, plus our one uh, bonus miscellaneous item pack. Um, so let's see what our starter slash structure deck is. Well, that's weird. It's not a starter or structure deck at all. It is, in fact, a Clash of Rebellion Special Edition. So I guess we're opening that. Hey, there's some cool stuff in Clash of Rebellions. I don't know. I don't, I suppose this is one structure or starter deck. I, I'm, but this is a special edition. I don't care. I don't care. I don't even care. I care immensely. Okay, so Clash of Rebellions. What's our promo? It is a Freight for Tiger and an Engraver of the Mark. Okay. Freight for Tiger, yay. Engraver of the Mark's not so much. So it comes with three Clash of Rebellions packs. Which I believe is the set that Chicken Game came out of, which is currently forbidden. Well, let's see what we got. And these are, well, at least I get more main set booster packs to make up for the lack of main set booster packs that the thing is supposed to come with. I don't know what's worse. The fact that this one doesn't come with as many main set booster packs as a set it comes with, or the fact that it came with a special edition instead of a starter slash structure deck. Nevertheless, let's get right into it. Secret Blast, Ignition, Ignite Margrave, Extinction on Sedul, Opera of the Miletius Diva, Ignite Champion, Despot 05, Perform Pal Salute Tiger, Side Effects, and... Perform Age Damage Juggler, which is currently forbidden. <laughs> okay, second Clash of Rebellions. Out of this so and so called, out of this structure deck. Uh, Balance of Judgment. Mystery Shell Dragon. Trick Box. Perform Age Flame Eater. What was that? Esha and the Frost Vassal. Cosmo Good Witch. Okay, that's a foil. Uh, this is also, be I guess this is a little bit before, um, what, this is before Breakers of Shadow, so there's not guaranteed foils yet. Um, Tam Tam the Melodious Diva, from 4 Mage Hat Trigger, Duskbot 005. And the last one, Perform Mage Trick Clown, Bird of Paradise Lost, Perform Pal Drummerilla, Ignite Squire, Era Mage, what is that, Bergamot? Super Heavy Samurai Blowtorch, Raid Raptor Fuzzy Lanius, Tam Tam Melodia Steva, and Perform Mage Hat Tricker. Okay. I have never been so disappointed. Just making sure there's no other good. Well, Balance of Judgment, I think, is seeing play in Chain Burn. But. That's kind of poopy. That we got a special edition instead of a structure deck, and not even an old special edition. Alright. Time for the Monster League and our 
playmat? Question mark? Oh, it's a different playmat. Then, oh, it is still a Monster League playmat. I forget how many of these they made. Let's see, here's our Monster League playmat. I don't even know what cards those are. But here is our Monster League playmat. And once again, I'm going to cut it off, and I'll be right back with opening the Monster League after I get them separated. But yeah, these mystery power boxes were basically made just to get rid of excess Monster League packs because they sold so well. Um, so let's see what's in our first one. As you can tell, I'm getting kind of bored. I'm kind of disappointed that the structure deck was a special edition and not a structure deck. Uh, that. Um, Rhinosaurus. And Black Brachio, Psychic Overload, and Gauntlet Warrior. Again, sorry about the lighting. I, it's not the best in the house, but it's the only place I can record. Plant Food Chain. Battle Storm. Vampire Koala. Scapego. Oh man, you Minotaurus. Hey, Kunai with Chain. Shocktopus. Mudora, Memory Loss, and Dark Crusader. Sadly, didn't get any PSA graded cards. I mean, even if cards are PSA graded, if they're not sought after cards, then they're not going to have any value. That's what people don't understand is that just because they're PSA graded doesn't mean they're expensive. If they're not sought after or nostalgic or expensive cards to begin with, they're not going to hold that much value, as a, even if they're PSA graded high. Um, so let's see, we have Murmur in the Forest, Quantum Cat, Fencing Fire Ferret, Machine Assembly Line, and Madoshe Bopple. Ready for intercepting. Mask of Brutality. Kawaki Miro Drago, which actually isn't that bad of a card. Um, Swamp Mirror and Gale Lizard. Okay. So we finally got through our three Yu-Gi-Oh! Mystery Power Boxes. Some good stuff. A lot of bad stuff. But like I said, a lot of disappointment in, the la in this last one. Um... Uh, let's go through what our good cards were and our foil cards because some of these foils are not good. Premium golds were pretty nice though, pretty interesting, but the, this, uh, now that I know about these boxes, some of them... Uh, the stuff that's in them is a blatant lie, aside from the Monster League and a playmat, it seems. That's what you're always going to get, is at least five Monster League packs and a Monster League playmat. But everything else but everything else in the box, totally freaking in the air what it could be. Well, I guess that's why it's a mystery box. But I expect some structure when they say it has a structure, when it lists what it's going to, like what type of item it's going to have, like... You know, main set boosters, uh, bonus item can be anything. It could be an extra pack like we saw. But I don't expect, when I say see structure deck, I don't, special edition. Wow. Maybe I should build a zombie deck at least. I mean, I did get a lot of zombie stuff. <laughs> I got the Mizuki and the structure deck. Um, so... I guess this is the part where I say goodbye, but I'm kind of flustered right now. <laughs> let me clean this up. Let me get my let me get my good mat um, showing here. So again, this has been uh, Mutual Overkill. Uh, opening three mystery power boxes. Uh, we had some laughs. We had some disappointment. Um, and but like I said, I I made a huge disclaimer at the beginning. Say don't buy these for value. Buy them if you're looking for something fun to do.
and if you want to expand your Yu-Gi-Oh and hopefully expand your Yu-Gi-Oh collection some more. Um, so this is Mutual Overkill. Thank you for watching. Hit me up with those likes. Maybe even subscribe if you really want to. Um, but this is pretty much wrapping up everything. And I will see you all next time. I gotta put all this crap away.